Hello friends, this is Durga again from my university. So as part of this uh, live video, we'll be see, seeing why uh, I'm covering SQL using Oracle rather than MySQL or Postgres, which are open source uh, RDBMS. And also we'll uh, start setting up environment using apex.oracle.com. Um, because it takes some time uh, to, to get uh, uh, to set up environment using apex.oracle.com, I will start with that. And while we are waiting um, uh, uh, to set up the environment or to complete the setup of the environment, I'll go back and I will try to explain you why I'm covering SQL using Oracle. OK? So to set up environment uh, using uh, apex.oracle.com, um, first let us understand what is this apex.oracle.com. Um, if you have the account, uh, you, uh, the interface will be like this. It, it is a uh, web-based uh, uh, web and cloud-based product provided to you by Oracle so that you can actually build applications for yourself. And uh, Apex, dot, uh, Apex stands for Application Express. And uh, most of the recent uh, Oracle databases comes with Apex uh, inbuilt with it. So the philosophy of Apex uh, or Application Express is that you can uh, quickly uh, start building simple web applications using the database server itself without uh, uh, going through the process of uh, the life cycle of uh, a typical web application. Don't worry if you don't understand the statement. Uh, that is not the point of concern here. Here you need to understand that uh, when you say apex.oracle.com uh, and if you have account in that, you will uh, get access to environment like this. And in this, we'll be primarily using SQL commands, utility under SQL workshop uh, to run the queries. OK, so uh, eventually, this will be the environment for you. And it will be dedicated environment for you. And it is, uh, you will get it from Oracle. Uh, so the, it is nothing to do with ITVersity. That being said, to set up the environment, I'm opening a different browser. Uh, let me open Safari. OK. And uh, you can choose whatever browser you want. Go to apex.oracle.com. And here, uh, you can click on Get Started. OK. So if you want to get Oracle Application Express along with uh, your database, you can go to OTN. Or OTN stands for Oracle Technology Network, where all the downloads will be available, but we will not be using OTN. And also, you can actually get Apex on Oracle Cloud. Uh, these are for uh, primarily for the companies, uh, not for individuals like us. For individuals, it is good enough to go with something called free workspace. So you will get a 5 MB or 10 MB or 25 MB uh, space uh, in a remote Oracle desktop, uh, Oracle database provided by Oracle. And uh, you will be able to uh, start learning Apex um, uh, if you are interested to develop the applications. But we'll limit the scope to just learn SQL. And probably in future, I will try to cover how you can use apex.oracle.com to, uh, to develop simple web applications if you are interested. OK, anyway, choose application development when you go to this page. Click on Next. Here you can give the name. I am giving the name as Durga and my last name and this is my email address so you have to give your email address and you give some workspace name in this case i am saying uh, uh, itversity labs that is my workspace name okay and then click on next so here you can give the schema name uh, let us name the ske uh, schema name as hr you also give the name as hr you will understand why I'm using the name HR later. And then you can choose either 10 MB or 25 MB uh, space. OK? And remember that if you don't use uh, app, uh, the, uh, the workspace often, uh, you will get some warnings uh, that your workspace will be purged, and eventually it will be purged. Click on Next. OK, HR is already there. So we will actually give some unique name. In this case, I am saying ITVersity Labs HR. So you also give some, um, uh, your first uh, initial of your first name 
and then last name and then say HR uh, as well, uh, schema name. Okay, because it's a shared database where there will be hundreds of uh, uh, users signing up like this. So it is conflicting with the existing schema name. That's why we have to make it unique. And then click on next. So here uh, it is asking some uh, questions, whether Oracle can contact you about uh, your use of Oracle Application Express. Um, you, you can answer no. Are you new to Oracle Application Express? If you are new, just say yes. I'm saying no. Would your organization be willing to be a reference for Oracle Application Express? No. And click on next. OK, so it will take a moment. Uh, here you have to uh, accept to the agreement. And then click on next and then click on submit request and uh, you were, uh, you can see the message here your workspace has been successfully requested once this request is approved your your login credentials will be emailed to whatever email id you have given so you just requested for the workspace you have you will not get it immediately it will take some time uh, probably few minutes to few hours uh, it it can take a, a day also uh, in some cases uh, so you have to be patient until you get access to it okay and then you can click on continue to sign in screen uh, i will just check whether i will uh, i got uh, uh, email uh, from them about uh, the approval if it is done we will we will go ahead and uh, complete the process uh, if it is not done i will go back and cover why sql using oracle and then we'll get back to this Okay, my internet is a little bit on slower side, uh, I guess. So let's wait for a moment. Yeah, so action required, account request. It is approved. Uh, earlier it used to take some time. Now it is uh, faster, I, I guess. So now uh, we can click on create workspace and the workspace will be created. Okay. So I am clicking on create workspace here. And remember, you still haven't uh, given the credentials yet. So I guess you will get an email with your credentials once the workspace is created. OK, while it is being created, let us understand why SQL using Oracle. So SQL stands for Structured Query Language. And uh, uh, R, uh, you should have heard about a term called RDBMS. Even if you don't, even if you did not hear, uh, I will try to cover RDBMS a little bit in detail as part of future videos. RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management Systems. And most of the mission critical applications uh, are built using RDBMS. And uh, uh, the market leader when it comes to RDBMS is Oracle. And there are other databases also, like SQL Server, Informix, uh, DB2, um, MySQL, Postgres, which are open source. There are n number of uh, uh, RDBMSs in the market, but Oracle is the uh, um, uh, highest, uh, Oracle captures uh, highest market share. So if you get familiar with SQL, um, uh, especially using Oracle, uh, that can be uh, that can be more value uh, than anything else compared to any other databases and remember one thing if you learn sql using one database with minor adjustments you will be able to uh, 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 you, you you will be able to work on any uh, any databases uh, without much um, uh, without much learning curve Okay, uh, so uh, make sure you, you learn using Oracle. And uh, one more thing, uh, one more reason why I'm using Oracle is, Oracle is a little bit advanced than any other database. Uh, the features it provides, the functions it provides to you, the capabilities it provides to you um, is a little bit uh, advanced uh, uh, in Oracle compared to other databases. So typically other databases follow Oracle uh, to implement the features which Oracle already have. Uh, it, uh, it is like Apple uh, in the smartphone market. 
um, and uh, the rest of the databases are like Android. There are uh, hundreds of Android uh, type of databases, um, 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 but no, no one is close to Oracle. Oracle is the major uh, market leader in RDBMS. Okay, uh, so so that's why I'm using Oracle. And uh, as part of this course, we will see basic SQL to advanced SQL, where we will be running some analytical uh, queries also using uh, 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 using some uh, uh, value valid problem statement instead of uh, just uh, learning SQL with the primitive uh, 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 primitive queries uh, just to understand syntax. We'll try to define a problem statement. And we will come up with a solution uh, by writing a SQL for that. Okay. That being said, um, our workspace is also created. Now you click on continue to sign in screen. Uh, and it is asking to set up the password for you, uh, for your uh, Apex account. So here I am giving the password. Now you are in. So whatever environment I have shown with my existing account, you got to the similar uh, environment, okay? And in this, we'll be primarily focusing on SQL commands and S in SQL workshop. We'll also see what is object browser, what is SQL scripts, etc. And also we will try to use uh, some of the uh, other products to import the data and all. But uh, most of the time, we'll be working on SQL commands. Okay, so that uh, that will finish the agenda of this session, which is to set up environment using apex.oracle.com. That being said, thank you. Bye.